You know, I do think the last 30 years from the 1970s up until, let's say, early 2000 was, is going to be regarded historically as the dark ages of nutrition because we really abandoned a very promising approach. I mean, there was a lot of interest in low carbohydrate diets for managing obesity and diabetes. And of course, we knew it was effective for managing intractable seizures, but we really did a you know, we did a, a, a major U-turn in our thinking, you know, and this coincided with the diet heart hypothesis and Ansel Keys, and this just took us down a path, and we forgot about all this promising research on low-carbohydrate diets. And then it just became heresy to, uh, you know, to, to talk about low-carbohydrate diets, let alone try to study them. And so there was no funding available. We built an economy around this, you know, diet heart hypothesis and promoting low fat, fat free foods. Uh, so we've now got it, you know, we've got an economy, we've got a political forces at play. We've got now created just a culture around carbohydrates as being healthy and grains as being healthy. And this is, um, you know, uh, very embedded in people's minds. And, you know, this all, you know, happened in a context of people in general like to get very emotional about their food. And so even scientists and researchers, amazingly, who should be data-driven are, are very much belief-driven. They have a belief system around what they think is, is an ideal diet, and that very much revolves around, you know, fat being the enemy and carbs are good. And so we're trying to turn that ship around um, after 30, 40 years almost of being brainwashed in many ways uh, about what constitutes a healthy diet. And so it's not trivial to, to turn that around. And historically, anytime there's a major shift in the way um, we think about a, a, a topic, uh, especially in medicine, it takes a decade or longer to really shift the, the mainstream consensus on a topic. And I believe we're at that tipping point now, though, with ketogenic diets. Um, a lot of the research started in the early 2000s, so we're wrapping up a pretty remarkable decade, decade and a half of consistently positive research on ketogenic diets. and so. In the last two years, I've seen more open-mindedness about ketogenic diets and more interest amongst researchers and scientists and physicians and healthcare professionals that um, I don't see that going away. In fact, I see it you know, continuing to escalate very rapidly. And so I think we're, it's very exciting times now where, where I think we're gonna see ketogenic diets embraced and utilized as a therapeutic tool to a much greater extent than we have in, in the recent past.